<laughs> Hello and welcome to Kids Virtual Yoga. My name is Michelle and this is my friend Madden and today we're going to be doing some awesome poses for skateboarders, longboarders, surfers. So grab your board and grab a towel and I'll show you what we're going to do with this in just a second. Okay, let's go. All right, so we are gonna do some poses that are perfect for skateboarders, or if you're a surfer, and we're actually gonna use our skateboards. So if you don't have a skateboard, it's okay. You can do all of these poses without a skateboard, but we're gonna try to challenge ourselves today, and we're gonna do a lot of the poses on our boards to see if we can stay balanced. So we have a towel underneath our board so they won't roll around. So if you're doing this at home and you're inside, roll up a towel and put your board on it so it won't roll around or make sure you're on a rug so you're not moving. And let's get started, are you ready? Yes. Let's start in mountain pose. So we're gonna go ahead and stand up and stand on our boards and our toes are gonna be pointed forward. So make your toes point forward. And then we're gonna engage all of our muscles. So we're gonna engage our leg muscles, engage or activate our core muscles. We're gonna push our heart forward and take our laser beam fingertips and send them straight to the ground. Nice strong mountain. Okay, we're gonna do a balancing pose next, Madden. Our base is mountain, so everything's nice and active and we're strong. Now, if you wanna step off your board and try this pose first, you can, or Madden's already doing it, he's doing dancer. So we're gonna lift up one of our legs and we're gonna make sure we can stay balanced. If we have something to hold on to, you could be holding on to a piece of furniture or a wall if you wanted. Otherwise, we're gonna take our knee and we're gonna point it straight down and then if we're feeling balanced here, we're gonna raise our opposite arm and look at Madden holding steady. Dancer. So what we're also doing in dancers, we're getting a nice quadricep stretch and hip flexor stretch. So for all that time you spend pushing yourself around on your board, this is a really, really, really great stretch. Good, should we try it on the other side? Yes. All right. So let's shake it, shake it, shake it, just a little bit in between. All right, get back into your nice strong mountain and let's lift up the other leg. If you're feeling balanced like this, grab your ankle, point your knee straight down. Ooh, and then if you're feeling balanced, raise your opposite arm. So we're doing dancer on the other side on our boards, staying balanced. Good. Oh. All right, Madden, let's try to challenge ourselves. Can you close your eyes? <laughs> it gets harder, doesn't it? <laughs> Good. Okay, next up we're going to do a strengthening pose for our legs called chair. Chair is just like what it sounds like. It's like we're going to sit in a chair. So go ahead and take your laser beam fingertips and point them straight up in the air. And then we're going to lean back, sit back like we're sitting in a chair. And we're going to hold this for three, two, one, and come up. All right, we're going to do two more Madden, okay? We're going to strengthen our legs today. So sit back, raise your, raise your fingertips up, sit back in your chair for four, three, two, one, up. All right, one more. One more chair, strengthening on our legs. Fingertips way up high. Sit back in your chair for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Good job, Madden. You're staying really balanced. Yeah. Must be all those years of yoga. All right. Raise your laser beam fingertips up to the sky one more time. Bend your knees, really bend your knees this time. And we're gonna rain our fingertips all the way down to the ground. So we're doing a forward fold and we're staying on our boards. So here you can experiment with how high if you wanna stretch your legs up and get a, a deeper stretch in your hamstrings, or if you wanna bend your knees and get more of a stretch in your back. Good. Okay, take your fingers, spread them nice and wide, make them look like starfish, plant them on the ground, and step one foot back, and step two feet back, and we are in a plank pose, Madden. How about we hold it for 10 seconds? Will you ten, come? Yeah. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, lift your hips to the sky. We're going to do one downward dog here. Go ahead and pedal your feet. If your heels don't come 
even close to the earth, that's okay. But if you pedal, you can usually get them to touch the earth then. All right, pedal your feet in downward dog. This should feel really good. Let your head hang loose. Getting a nice stretch in our legs. Balancing out all the hard work we do on our longboards and surfboards and skateboards. Good, okay, go ahead and lower your knees to the ground. So now we're in a tabletop or all fours position. And we're actually gonna take our boards and just move them up a little bit. We're gonna do a pose called pigeon. So it's a little bit tricky. I'm gonna move my board off to the side just so you can see me. You keep yours, you're fine, Madden. All right, so we're on all fours and I'm gonna take my right knee and I'm gonna bring it up to my right hand and then I'm gonna take my, left, my right foot and bring it to my left hand. So I'm kind of like this, if you can see. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep, and then at the back leg, I'm gonna go ahead and scoot that out and bring the top of my foot to the ground. So if you have your board here, you can have your hands on your board and we're doing pigeon. So what we're doing is getting a really big stretch in our hip flexors right now. So you might really be feeling this. And if you're really feeling this, you can, you can play with where your leg is and it shouldn't be painful, but you should be feeling a stretch. Good, and then if you wanna challenge yourself a little bit more, you can come lower. You could rest on the board if you want. Get a really good stretch. Good, so let's just sit here and breathe for, let's take two deep breaths together. Good work, good work. All right, so back to all fours again, a tabletop position. This time we're gonna bring our left knee up to our left hand and bring our left foot over by our right hand. All right, good, and then we're gonna get this back leg adjusted, bring the top of our foot to the ground. I'm gonna have my hands on my board. Here we are in a, a pigeon. Yeah, that's it, you got it, Madden. How's that feel? Good. Where do you feel it? Where do you feel the stretch happening? Like right here. Mm-hmm. And right here on your right side right. hip. Uh -huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then if it feels good for you, you can come down on your elbows and lean on your board and just get a nice stretch. So this is a super good stretch for skateboarders and surfers, stretching out your hip flexors and really anybody. It's a great stretch. <laughs> good. Let's take two deep breaths. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and lift ourselves up. We'll come back to all fours. All right, we'll bring our, our boards back to kind of the center of our towel here. And we're gonna do a pose called boat pose, one strengthening pose for our bellies to get nice strong tummies. So let's sit on our boards. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna do boat pose sitting on our boards. So boat pose, you can have your hands resting you know, next to you on your board, or if you're on the ground, you can just have your hands behind you. And to start with, we're just gonna raise our legs up. And so this is boat pose, working our legs and our bellies. And then if you're feeling really strong, you can lift your fingers up too. <gasps> boat pose, let's see if we can hold it for five seconds, Madden. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Go ahead and cross your legs in front of you. We're gonna sit in easy pose, sitting on our boards. That feels good, doesn't it? We should, use, we should use skateboards in class more often, I think. This is kind of fun. Let's wind it down and calm ourselves down and do alternate nostril breathing. So one finger up, index finger on that same side of the body, close that nostril. And we're gonna take three breaths in and out through just this nostril. Here we go. Opposite index finger up, close this nostril, open this one, and here we go, three breaths. Opposite index finger up, close this nostril, open this one, three breaths. Last time, close this nostril, open this one, three breaths. Good. 
Good. Go ahead and release. Bring your hands to your lap and just breathe normally. How do you feel, Madden? Relax. Relax, stretched out? Mm -hmm. That was awesome. That was really fun. All right, thank you, all you longboarders and skateboarders and surfers. That was a lot of fun. If, if you like this video, if you could hit the like button, if you could share it with a friend, that would be amazing. And if you really liked the video, if you'd subscribe to this channel and you'll be first to know about our weekly uploads. Do it. <laughs> all right, thank you.